Hi y'all, my name is Tina. Welcome back to Reaction Row. Today I am watching the second episode of Dead Boy Detectives. I really enjoyed the first episode. I can tell I'm going to enjoy this show. It gives me kind of like Good Omens vibes um, with a little bit of Julie and the Phantoms with them being ghosts and all. So I really like it. Um, I really, really love Edwin. I love his personality. Uh, Charles, Charles or Charlie? I can't remember. He's really great too. He's fun, but I like how sassy Edwin is. So I think he's my favorite right now, but who knows as the show progresses. Um, I do want to see how they became friends 30 years ago. And it looks like they are on the run from hell um, because at the end they found, or like the lost and found woman uh, was like, oh, I found you. So they're on the run, obviously, trying not to be found by hell. I want to know if they were both in hell and they both escaped somehow. I know that Edwin was there unfairly due to, um, what did they say? It was an error. Uh, some sort of clerical error. So I want to see about that. Uh, Crystal is supposed to be a teenager. Uh, I did look up the actress because to me, I felt like she was slipping out of her accent. So I was curious to see if she really was American or not. Um, and she's not. So I did hear that um, certain words, you could hear her British accent. So um, I was curious about her and the actress isn't a teenager and that's why she doesn't look like a teenager to me but they keep emphasizing it so I guess they kind of have to since she doesn't really look that young um but I hope it's not something that they keep having to say like or like question her age but I am curious about her parents are they in London are they in America and are Edwin Crystal and is it Charlie or Charles? Oh, I hate that I can't remember, but I will remember after this episode. Um, I'm guessing it's Charlie. I wonder if they're going to stay in America. Are they going back to London? Um, I don't know. I'm curious. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Before I do that, though, I want to thank you all for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. And I do have full unedited reactions on Patreon if you're interested. The links are in the description box. Let me get started. You come to say goodbye. You're not going anywhere. Your fancy pal use magic on a cat. He's got to answer for it. A good detective does what he needs to in order to solve a case. Now move. The Cat King is pissed. We're taking it to him. The Cat King? <laughs> what? Edwin? What exactly did you do, mate? <laughs> Too funny. I'm surprised my cat's not going wild with meowing after hearing this. you have a um, special friendship? We are best friends, if you must know. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, you don't have to do all that. This is a safe space. My kingdom is all about want and pleasure. You're threatening to punish me. Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Well, can we clear up this magic leash business? I'm afraid I don't see the harm in one little spell. Oh no, you don't? You are so oddly handsome. Oddly. You fascinate me. Am I to tell? Oh, 
What the bloody hell is this? You claimed it. What's your punishment? It's a caging spell. It keeps you in this town. Oh no. My kingdom. <laughs> You can't leave, not in a car, not in a boat, not in a plane, not on a train, and definitely, definitely not through a mirror. The little ghosts are so tricky. Unacceptable. Can't even remove it. We cannot stay here. It is dangerous. Oh, Edwin, what was it you just said to me? I don't see the harm in one little spell. Look, it comes right off as soon as you make me happy. Then what would make you happy? I'm fairly sure we could figure something out. But I can see that has offended your old fashioned sensibilities. Look, I'm a fair and consensual cat king. So I will give you another option. Count all the cats in Port Townsend. And then the bracelet will come off. Count all of the cats. That's a ton of cats. Hey, Wynn! Are you alright, mate? Where have you been? I haven't been gone a few moments. Like you've been gone for literal hours. Um, what is that on your wrist? It's a leash of his own. Whatever angsty, John Hughes level bullshit that's going on. In here, just do it more quietly. I'm trying to be patient because I have a pretty strong feeling you have nowhere else to go. So chill. She's just a horrible tenant. <laughs> You're gonna get me kicked out. Or you could just leave. I'm the one with the evil bracelet, so you feel free to hop on the next ferry. No, he didn't mean that. Oh no, he did. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's forwarded to wherever you are. That's convenient. Do you know, mate? It'll only take a second for our reputations catching over here in Port Townsend, won't it? We do not have to catch on in this town. Again, we are not staying. We're not all junk mail. Look, a magic shop. Let's get that bracelet looked at by a professional. Oh, shit, sorry. No, I am. Um... Oh my god, I love her little aura. Um, Holy shit. <laughs> it was super cute and then she passes out I thought maybe they were going to fall you know, in love or something sure the first really time that she saw all that around her I'm unfortunately not going to a town across an ocean but I'm doing my level best now you should be down and to the left is that your left or my left we have the same left. <laughs> They're like an old married couple. I love That's sad. But I bet they're looking for you right now. You're probably right. You're right. <laughs> Paranormal parasites, dandelion sprites, which sounds cute, but they're not. They feed on adoration, attention. You see it as the fuzzy pink light you described. Don't look at the lights. Got it. They make people look at her and they eat up the attention. And when they grow strong enough, then. Then what? They um. They exit the body. Exit the body how? However they can. But I would not expect it to be polite. This first start. That is not what I said. Well, I guess it was when I went looking for dandelions. Well, when I was little, my dad used to say that if you needed a little extra courage, a dandelion in your pocket would do the trick. And when you leave Osaka to go live on the opposite end of the globe, you need courage. <laughs> I know there's more. 
I just can't really remember. Keep going. She needs to keep going. You did good, Nico. Thank you. It is did well, Crystal. No, she did not. We need her to do better. We need more information if we are to have a fraction of a chance. Ask her if she... Just think about this place you saw in the woods. Is there anything else about it that seemed odd? The only other thing I remember is... Some kind of shrine. You did amazing. We need her to lead us there. Just excuse me one second, okay, Nico? Look at her, she needs to be in bed. She will look like an illustration from this book if she doesn't... Oh my God, Charles, back me up. Kind of with Edwin on this one. I know, but listen, if the dandelion sprites came from that shrine, there may be a relic or glyph of some kind we can use to subdue. Uh, Nico? Maybe she's headed that way anyway? Wow. That's why people stare at her. Number 23. Number 23. Whoa. She kept saying people stare at her. Shit, uh... Nico? Nico's map helps, yeah? So I'm guessing that when... <sighs> Edwin escaped is the same. Was it was the same year as no, I don't think that's exactly. Charles it's like a dying, or so they Maybe probably Tosh escaped together somehow. Humiliation. Well, me and Crystal could help. We'll make it a group effort. Or Charles no, helped like her Edwin escape. Charles, that's somehow. very clear. But my father would call her a bobtail. Well, that's not very nice. Your dad would have called me an unlit cub, or worse. So let's not worry about dads, yeah? You know, when you use these old-timey insults on me, I always look them up. I do, do I? Mm. I shall try to be nicer. But Crystal is difficult. Willful. And passive. <laughs> well, that sounds a lot like you, I was thinking it? that too. Wait, maybe that's why I like her so much. See? We're figuring this out. My mood isn't about Crystal. I simply hate that I'm the reason we are stuck in this town. You should have known. Welcome to not being perfect. Aww. I knew this was about that stupid cat king. Charles is so nice. Look. Look at your fists. That only happens when you're very tense, mate. But I haven't seen you this tense since the great chewing gum debacle of 06. What is it you're not telling me? I'm fascinated by you. Mm. You are like a dog with a bone. Huh, part of being a good detective, isn't it? Asking questions when things get hazy. Charles, I... I do not understand why you are so fixated on the minutia of my chat with the cat. It isn't as if I... <laughs> We found something. Constant gifts. No, not gifts. Sacrifices. Ooh. They feed on the attention of others. They were abandoned here a long while back then. Must have been starving. I'm not going to feel bad for ripping people up like this. Only this shrines. Enchanted vessel can contain the sprites. The vase. Perfect. Wait. Enchanted how? Can I grab it? Should I not grab it? Uh, I'm not sure. Just give me a. You grabbed it anyways. I want to grab it. Oh um, no! for another discussion of your impetuous behavior. Sure, mate. After the skeletons. But it's OK, 
okay? Because my ghost friends are detectives and they're gonna help you. You just have to trust us. Crystal, you can't go around telling people ghosts are real. They will think you're insane, which maybe you are, but they will make things messy. Okay, she threw up a rainbow and turned into a human nightmare. What was I supposed to tell her? I'm glad you told me. See? She's glad. Wait, really? Just like that? Well, I'm very open-minded and also very concerned about bursting open. Honestly, I just find her so charming. Me too. I like Nico. Please tell me you figured it out. We found a sacred vase at the shrine. Oh, that's good. What's good? They found a sacred vase at the shrine. That sounds good. Then Charles dropped it. No. And now we need that sacred vase to trap the sprites. Charles, you dropped it? I didn't mean to. Who's Charles? The teenage boy who dropped the vase. That sounds bad. She says that sounds bad. We can hear her. But don't yell at me. He's the one that dropped the stupid vase. Okay, okay, all right. I need for you lot to pile on. Now, for no Charles. the enchanted vessel, but just hold up the tick. We may not have the enchanted vase, but we do have an enchanted jar. That's what Tragic Mix said, right? Enchanted sound like the sea. A vessel, isn't it? Charles, that is brilliant. Brills, Charles, brills. To satiate us! Me. My body is all yours if you leave Nico without hurting her. Crystal, you go mental. Nico, she has a family. You, you can't take her away from them. I don't have a place. See, I don't belong anywhere. Please just take me instead. Another body just, just needs another hunger. I'm different. See, I'm a psychic medium. I can see the dead. Imagine the feast you could have, feeding off attention from the living and the dead. It's so gross. You could eat your fill. That's what you like dog shit in there and something else it feels like mixed with lemon or something it's bad oh wow you got it kind of close there you're welcome way to go charles are you okay are you back okay are you okay Fine. Okay. Oh. You must be so proud of yourself, huh? Big man trapped two in sprites in a jar. Hey, why don't you trap a baby in a crib and act? Oh, yeah, you would love that, wouldn't you? You would. Little ghost fucker! Why do you hate babies anyway, huh? Charming. Baby trapping asshole! <laughs> so weird. Amazing, Crystal. That was rather brave. Mm -hmm. Oh, Edwin giving a compliment. But also dangerous and unprofessional. Do not do it again. Of course. Well, it looks like you're feeling like your old self again. I suppose I am. Well, agency mail. Seems like word got out that the dead boy detectives and their brand new medium are in town. I'm sorry, our brand new medium? Nice. Already a line of ghosts forming outside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all, I really enjoy that. Okay, Monty does look innocent, so you would think that if they got good casting on that because who wouldn't trust him? I love Esther. I love her. Um, she's so hyperbolic and she exaggerates her everything, so I love that about her. Charles is so empathetic, so sweet. And he really likes Crystal, you can tell. Um, I love Nico. I wonder if we're going to see more of her, if she's going to be in all of the episodes or not, if she's going to help them out now that she can see them. That would be fun. Um, and the butcher, the businesswoman, I don't know her name, the landlord. She's funny, but I would have already been like so frustrated and been like, I'm sorry, you have to leave. Like, you're causing too much of a disturbance. My customers, 
are freaked out, like you need to go. But um, I love Edwin. I guess he's dealing with with his old fashioned um, morals and dealing with uh, possibly, I'm guessing he might be interested in Charles and Charles seems interested in Crystal instead. So that's gonna be hard to deal with, I think, for him. And uh, I wanna see how he gets that bracelet off and if they show the Cat King again. Everyone in this is an amazing actor. They're fun. They have their like great timing with the banter. I'm really enjoying it. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. All right, well, I'm gonna end there. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.